Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about some skincare from the brand Tiam. These products were sent to me for review by Tiam. I was not paid to promote them and I was not asked to say only positive things about them either. So after I mentioned that I had purchased the My Signature Sea Sauce in one of my hauls, Tiam contacted me and asked if I would like to try some of the other skincare products and I of course said Yes, of course I would like to. Over the time that we were in correspondence, I went to Europe and I came back and my original sea source serum had actually oxidized so it turned a bright yellow color, which I was so pleased about. Um, so they ended up sending me another one of the sea source serums. I'm not gonna be talking about this one in this video because I already have a review up of this, but I did wanna show you guys what it should look like. Instead of being bright yellow, it should be a clear or a very, very pale yellow color. Mine is totally clear and I've had it open for maybe like two weeks now um, and I've been using it on my face in the mornings um, pretty much every day. So today I'm going to be talking about the Centella blending powder as well as the Panthenol moist cream. Okay so we're going to start up with the Centella blending powder and the product description says special blending powder that transforms your cosmetic into trouble care products. There's a couple of ways you can use this. You can use this as a total care, which means that you mix it with your favorite toner, serum, or cream and apply it to the skin. You can use it for spot care, which means that you gently apply the powder with cotton swabs onto the spots where the troubled areas are, or multi-care, which means that you're mixing the trouble care products with other types of cosmetics, which I take to mean you could probably put this in a foundation, but I have not tried that. So the powder comes housed in this cute little white plastic bottle. The only problem with this is that it is really difficult to actually get the cap off and especially considering it's a powder I don't really want to squeeze it too much because I don't want the powder to come out everywhere but other than that it's really easy to use all you have to do is shake the powder into the palm of your hand and mix it with some other items or use a cotton swab to apply it to your skin. The powder itself is white in color and doesn't really have a significant scent and I find it easy to mix with other skincare items. So today I'm going to be mixing it with my Clear's Rich Moist Soothing Serum. This is a really nice serum um, but all it really does is moisturize so I'm going to be using the Centella to sort of like amp it up a little bit. So I'm going to use like a pump and a half of the serum and then I'm going to use the powder and just apply <laughs> using my fingers to like tap the powder out just a little bit into the serum. I don't want to put too much in because then it gets a grainy texture which I don't like but it's kind of hard to judge how much you're using because there's no measuring guide but it pretty much just looks like this you can see it on top of the powder and then all you need to do is blend it into the serum which is also really really easy I try to um, like mix it in quite thoroughly onto the palm of my hand so that I have an even distribution of the powder and serum and that is pretty much it so the serum has now got a white color but it's still really thin in texture and easy to apply to my skin. I have put this into creams as well, but I think my favorite way to use it is in serums because it's a bit easier to mix in. I do find that the powder makes this much quicker to dry and it has a slightly mattifying feel rather than being super moisturizing. So if you have drier skin, this may not be the best ingredient for you. The formula does have cornstarch as well as zinc oxide and silica in the formula, which is probably why it is feeling a little bit more mattifying. It's not a drying feeling, but I wouldn't add it to a product that's meant to dry out your skin because I think it might go a little bit too far. So after applying that, my skin feels really soft and supple. It's not sticky at all, but it's not as dewy of a finish as it normally is. So in that respect, it does change the serum a little bit because this usually does make my skin feel a little bit sticky, like in a moist, dewy sense, not like an awful like stick feel. And it does make it look a little bit dewy. So for me, this does change how this ends up looking on my skin, not in a bad way, but I think it is worth pointing out. I can't speak much on the effectiveness on this powder because other than the initial finish on my skin, I don't really see or feel that much difference, but I have only been able to try this out for about two weeks and I think that that's probably just a little bit too little of time to be trying this out. So I will continue using this in the hopes that it will give me some results. I am very hopeful because Centella is supposed to be a really, really good ingredient, but I have never used Centella before. So I don't really know what to expect because I don't have anything to compare it to. The other product I was sent to try out is the Panthenol Moist Cream, which I have very much been enjoying. So the product description says, a moisture enhancing cream formulated with Panthenol to form moisture barrier and deeply hydrate the skin, leaving the skin barrier healthy and moisturized. This one has some really good ingredients. So of course it contains Panthenol and it is 10% of Panthenol, which I don't think it says on the box outer but it does on the actual ingredients list but it also contains ingredients like betaine as well as 
arginine and allotonin, which are really good for the skin. But it does also include a uh, satyryl alcohol, a dimethicone, which is a silicon, which I don't mind. Um, we'll get to that in a little bit as well as beeswax, which is an interesting ingredient. I don't think I've ever used beeswax in skincare before, to my knowledge. <laughs> so the dimethicone actually is not as bad as people think it is. People always see the silicons and think, oh my gosh, like I don't want to put silicons on my skin. But it helps to provide a barrier for the skin. So it means that your skincare isn't evaporating or coming off your skin, basically. So this is a really good night cream for me and that is what I've been using it for mostly. The packaging is really nice and simplistic. It has a screw top and it does come with a spatula which is fantastic. The cream itself is a translucent white colour which is pretty much colourless on my face when I spread it out and it has a really light scent of lemon because it does have lemon oil as the very last ingredient. In general I find it really easy to spread out on my skin and it absorbs moderately quickly. This is one of the reasons that I don't always use it in the morning because sometimes it can be a little bit slow to absorb but this makes it a really great nighttime moisturiser because it feels like it stays on my skin it forms a really nice barrier and it doesn't like it doesn't feel sticky after like a good I don't know 10 to 20 minutes I would say which is fine because I don't put my moisturizer on just before I sleep I actually leave like about one to two hours because I do it before I have dinner <laughs> so that's not a problem for me so to apply it I'm just gonna take a little bit on the spatula I don't want too much because obviously it is the morning so it's pretty much just a little bit like that and then I'm going to dot some of it on my skin just so it spreads out easily and then I'm going to use the tips of my fingers to gently rub it into my skin. I know a lot of people subscribe to the padding method but I don't feel like that always gets the product spread out evenly for me but instead I just use my third and fourth fingers to spread it out because they're a little bit more gentle than my <laughs> index fingers and this means that I don't pull on my skin. Even though it looks like my skin is moving, it's not pulling or anything. So this is what the cream looks like on my skin. It's not a very thick formula, it's more like a gel-like consistency. So I feel like it spreads out really nicely and evenly. Like I said, it is a little bit of a sticky finish to start with. So I'm going to wait maybe like 10 to 15 minutes before going on to the next steps of my skincare and makeup. But it does leave a really nice semi-dewy finish on the skin. It's not really like moisturized looking. I would say like to the sense where my skin looks like super super shiny but it feels really nice and gently moisturized and it looks really nice as well. I really enjoyed trying out these skincare products from Tiam. I think that my favorite was the Panthenol Moist Cream. I find that this is a really good cream for the nighttime for my skin and I'm especially looking forward to using it during the summer season where my skin needs something moisturizing at night but not something super super heavy and like thick. I do enjoy using the Centella Blending Powder, but because I don't see such visible results immediately from this one, I tend to like this one a little bit more. It's not to say that it doesn't work, but I just don't think that it's had that many results on my skin. They do offer this blending powder in some other forms as well, not just Centella Asiatica. So I think that it's a really, really cool concept because you can mix it with your other serums to give them just a little bit of a boost. But for me personally, it's not something that I saw massive results for my skin with, although I did find it really, really fun to use. I did really enjoy using the Panthenol Moist Cream and it's definitely a product that I recommend for princesses who may have slightly oilier skin but are still wanting that something that forms a barrier on their skin for a nighttime cream. It's not super heavy, it is a really lightweight gel consistency but I think that it works really really well for my skin although it does have a slightly sticky finish to start with so in the morning I do find that I need a good 10 to 15 minutes to let it dry down to a non-sticky finish otherwise sometimes it will make my foundations pill and roll up which I do not like. But other than that, it has been very, very pleasant to use and I will continue using this one. Thank you so much to TM for sending these products out for me to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing more about a brand that I haven't talked about very much. I have only previously tried their vitamin C serum, so I'm really excited and happy that I was able to try some other products for you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!